regarding a topic uh, during the day. Uh, we are very dissatisfied by this uh, kind of move. Uh, we do not believe that uh, the Chief Justice subscribes to the rule of law. We do not think that whatever she is coming to present has any meaning to the members of parliament. Uh, we believe that what she will be bringing on the table is full of hot air, is red herring, uh, is full of unproven hypotheses, and therefore we will not be uh, part of that presentation. Uh, we all have the copy of our constitution. We were all given a copy of our standing orders. There is nothing new that the Chief Justice is coming to bring to the members of parliament or the 13th parliament. And therefore, we will uh, very respectfully uh, walk away uh, on her when she shows up to make her presentation. And we want this message to go uh, loud and clear to every person that we are dissatisfied with Madam Martha Koome's conduct, uh, the judgment that she read which was full of insults, and uh, the judgment that was never premised on any law. I thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> it's a good morning today as we come, come for induction. As my colleagues has raised, Well, uh, thank you very much, and uh, we are here, uh, the first day of the induction. Uh, from the program, we have seen uh, quite elaborate uh, uh, issues that will be discussed, but we are also dissatisfied that Parliament has invited uh, Madam Martha Koome, the Chief Justice, to come and make a presentation. Uh, two things. One, there is nothing new that uh, Madam Koome uh, can bring on board to members of parliament because we all have copies of the constitution and we also have copies of the standing orders. Number two, we believe that whatever she's bringing here today is full of hot air, is an unproven hypothesis, is red herring, and all the negative uh, attributes that she uh, described our petition with. Uh, the petition that uh, she, that we took to court, and the subsequent verdict was not premised on any law, and therefore we do not think that we have the time and latitude to listen to Madam Martha Koome. We will respectfully walk away when she shows up to make that presentation. She does not interpret the law as it ought to be. Uh, the judgment that she rendered was full of insults. I don't think we deserve the kind of insults that she uh, directed our way. Uh, thank you. I think to continue where my colleagues has left off, generally a court of law is a court of law. We expect the judges and people sitting in the judiciary to be people of good manner, good temper, so that whatever judgment they render <coughs> is not to be full of insults, innuendos, and things generally that do not make sense. We ask her that when she comes, if she happens to come, or any opportunity, she has time to redeem the image of the judiciary as a judiciary that respects the people of Kenya, that actually does the will of God, so that if whatever judgment they render, should not be a judgment of insults and things that do not make any sense. As much as reforms are going everywhere, in the executive and the legislature, it's also time the judiciary needs to embark on reforms, so that whatever judgment they render, everybody satisfies their judgment, so that wherever they go, they are okay with it. It's even more appalling that the Supreme Court has got the final say in all the judgments in this country. To whatever level of uh, satisfied you are, we have nowhere to go. So we're asking the Madam Chief Justice, she might, she, we don't want her here today. She needs to go take this time, she would have come here, to go and soul search and find a way of moderating her language, moderating her demeanor, so that she reflects the true character of the people of Kenya. Thank you. Uh, is it just you here or it's the whole lot of you? Hey, uh, most of us, most like of us like-minded. Like minded. And we, as Jared has said, we members of Azimio, those of us who understand what judgment ought to be about, those of us who have been brought up in Christian families, we take extreme offense in the manner and the language she used. And we will respectively 
just walk out on her so that she can uh, address those who probably have made insults as part of the agenda in this life. Thank you. And, uh, and finally, you know, you never invoke the name of the Lord in vain. Uh, it, I was perplexed that she went to campaign in her village in a funeral. And she said that that decision was inspired by God who lives in heaven. I do not think God subscribes to insults. And therefore, let us not invite the name of the Lord on very trivial, cheap things that only affect a section of this country. And therefore, uh, on behalf of the judiciary, let me say that uh, God should just forgive us for such transgressions. In, in fact, uh, the, the, the most important thing here is that if people wanted uh, judgment by God, then they will go to a pastor. You don't need to go to God. Where does, where, where do, where do, to court, where do we go when we want matters of God? We go to church. And there is a reason why the Constitution provided for God and not a church to be the final say in a petition. Thank you, guys.